If you want your RV's AC to be able to keep your rig cool when it's hot outside, you need to maintain your air conditioner so it works properly. In this video, I'm going to show you how to clean your RV's AC units, what tools and supplies you need to complete the job, and go over tips for making the task easier. Hi, I'm Steve. I'm a certified tech and inspector. Right now, I'm working in Houston, Texas, cleaning a lot of air conditioners. In Texas, it gets ridiculously hot outside, but by the time it gets hot here, I'll be back in Michigan enjoying milder temperatures. And sorry, I think I picked the windiest day of the week to do this video, but I have a busy schedule, so we'll take care of it for you. And this brings me to my first tip. You want to clean your air conditioner in the spring and the fall if you use it year round like they do here in Texas. That way you're not cleaning when it's sweltering hot outside and it's ready to work when you want to use it. Now if you only camp seasonally, don't use the AC year round. Cleaning it once a year is fine and typically that's the springtime before you want to use it in the summer season. So first, let's go over the tools and cleaning supplies you need for the job. The first one is going to be a Phillips head screwdriver. An air conditioner, so this will take off the top and the pieces on the inside to access all the parts you want to clean. You want somewhere to put your screws. I use these little magnetic cups to put my screws inside. You can use a box or anything, but the last thing you want is your screws running off the roof and you can't find them down in the grass and the gravel. And I keep a good pair of gloves, that way when I reach inside the coils, I don't cut up my fingers because those things are sharp. You'll need a little bit of foil tape to replace the spots you peeled it off when you're taking things apart inside the air conditioner. Now there's two types of foam that I use on the air conditioners. This one is a Dometic brand. This is an antimicrobial type air conditioner cleaner. You can use this on any part of the air conditioner, but I use this mainly on the inside air coil. The second one I use is this air conditioner coil cleaner. I like it because it has a little brush on the top of it to clean some of the dirt and debris out of the coils, and you can straighten some of the fins with it. I use this one only on the outside air coils, but the fin comb can be used on both of the coils inside the air conditioner. And both of those coil cleaners are no rinse cleaners, but I use a little bit of water with a spray bottle just to rinse down a little extra dirt and debris and clean up the bottom of the coils so things flow out of the air conditioner and not into the RV. The last thing on my list is a few towels and rags. That way I can clean up the mess on top of the roof and keep any foam and water from going into the air conditioner when I'm spraying it inside there. And I lied, there's one more thing I use, is a little kneeling pad. You can find the links to all the products and tools we use in the description down below this video. Now let's get started with the process of cleaning the air conditioners. The first thing on our list is safety. Before we take the cover off the air conditioner and start putting our fingers inside of there, I turn the power off at a circuit breaker inside the RV. And depending on how your RV is set up, you want to have a ladder that's secure to get up on top of the roof. Ours is a ladder in the back of it, but it's straight up and very hard to carry tools and supplies onto the roof. So I use a ladder against the side of the RV. That way I can carry stuff up the roof much easier. And now we'll pull the cover off. On this unit, there's four screws on the outside of them. You have a couple screws on the outside and you gotta wiggle the cover and then take it off the air conditioner. Now we'll want to remove any covers we possibly can to access the coils inside the air conditioner. There's two coils in there. One you can see without moving anything. This is the outside air coil. The one towards the front of the RV is your inside air coil where air flows in from the RV and back down to cool off the RV. Sometimes the back cover is accessible to pull it off. Sometimes it's not. So if it is, I'll pull it out of the way. If not, I'll work around it to clean that back coil. And once I pull the front air conditioner cover off, I take a picture of what it is to start with. There's a little sensor in there. It has to go back to the exact same spot after you're done cleaning. And at the bottom down here, I'll put a little rag. That way it takes any moisture or water drippings and doesn't let them go into the RV. So when you're ready to spray the coils, this is when I'll use a brush to clean all the dirt and debris out of them. Especially the back one. Sometimes it has a lot of leaves and pollen and things in there. It needs to be cleaned out. The front one has usually a little bit of grease from the kitchen or a little bit of fuzz and dust from inside the RV. Now we're ready to spray some foam to clean the coils off. So we'll grab the foam cleaner and we'll spray it back and forth, work our way from the bottom all the way to the top and back the other direction. Do the same thing on the back side that we did on the front side. So after I spray the front coil, let it sit for 10 to 15 minutes and I'll start working on the back one. Now this foam foams up a lot more than a cleaner we use on the inside air coil. So I'll work my way from the bottom up. Sometimes it's really foamy, I can't go over it twice. Then I'll try to get in around the fan, clean out anything else on the other side. 
As you can see on the back coil, it's a little harder to get to both sides because a fan and a shroud can be in the way, but we do what we can to clean everything out of it. If you really have to, you can disassemble stuff, but the basic air conditioning cleaning, we try not to do that. We let everything sit for 10 to 15 minutes. The foam breaks down the dirt and the grease and the oils. Then we use a spray bottle to rinse things down a little bit. That's when the water starts flowing out of the air conditioner. It's flowing out, it's a good thing. It's working the way it's supposed to, but then it'll take a few rags on the outside to soak up some of that water. That way that dirty water isn't running down the side of the RV. Now, as you can see, my air conditioner is not that dirty because I live full time in it and clean them twice a year but if you neglected them for a while, they can be really dirty and grimy. It might take a couple coats of foam and break down all of that dirt and grease inside there so they work properly. The foam is still working on the outside air coil and we're done on the inside air coil. I'm gonna pull my rag out of the bottom, put the sensor back in the right spot, and put the cover back on. And hopefully by that time, the back one's ready to rinse out. Our foam and our outside air coil is pretty much broken down. We'll give it a little bit of a rinse, clean everything out. You can see the dirty water coming out of the air conditioner. That's a good thing because it's cleaning it. And just for cleaning the coils, it takes about a half an hour per air conditioner. Now with a certified tech, it takes me a little bit longer because I'm checking electrical components. On top, there's a couple things called capacitors or the compressor. Looking at wires that constantly are loose or burned, going through all that stuff to make sure things are good to go when the air conditioner needs to be used. And also, once I'm all done, we'll look on the inside, check the ductwork, make sure everything is sealed off properly, and take a thermometer to test the air conditioner to make sure it's producing cold air. And once everything is clean, we'll put the outside cover back on top and tighten the screws. I'm gonna go inside, turn the circuit breaker back on and test the air conditioner. Once we turn it on, we should feel cool air coming out of the vents. It takes around 10 minutes or so for the air conditioner to really start giving you cold air coming out of the vents. I'll go around, check, make sure good airflow at all of the vents. And like I said, at Certified Tech, we're using thermometers to make sure things are really working good. If you want more helpful links, check out the description of this video. We have our website, our social channels, where we post more educational content, and we'll see you in the next video.